Shite Vakarja, as Mesha Cormac Bolzo Brain, Agas Taman Shaw, and you look at the big Gaelic on who lives here. So, how is all doing? My name's Cormac Bolzo Brain, and I'm here today to do a little bit of Irish with you, with, with you all. So, I'm going to start today with the Mo Ordi, the, the order form of the verb. Now, the order form of the verb, it's also the root of the verb. Or the imperative mood, I think is it's called. But we don't need to know that. What we need to know is we, we can use the root of the verb for two things. One, for orders. And two, that's where you start before you start conjugating the verb. Adding the entons and putting in the chevy or the h and things like that. That's where you start. So I'm going to start today with the with some of the, with the irregular verbs and I'll give you some examples and I'll show you how to use it in the singular and in the plural. Okay, so let's start. Let's start with this little fo fuckle here, this little word here. This word here is called be. Be, be. Even sounds like even sounds like it <laughs> like it in English. So be my, be good. Be my, be good. That's the one person. Be my, be good. Or be cuan, shh, be quiet. Okay? Now be calling her! It's be calling her! You can use this, for th this form of the verb when given orders or when telling somebody to do something and things like that. So it's very, very useful, especially if you're starting to learn the language with your children or, or with your family. Often you have to tell children what to do and give them orders. Sounds very authoritative, but sure, we have to do that every day. So we're talking about be, be cuing, be quiet, be shave, be gentle. So you can use that in lots of different ways. Let's go through some of the other ones. Tar, tarawala, tarawala, come home, come home, tar and shaw, come here. So you can see why that's, that's useful. Look, many times you ask somebody to come here or come home in your normal day, it's great. Eat, eat the in your, eat your dinner. Eat the in your, eat your dinner. Eat the loan, eat your lunch. So that comes in very, very handy. Now this one here, we have two forms of this here. We have clush and clean. Clean is used more often in Ulster and clish will be the form that they use in the Kaijin Ifigul, the, the official standard, which is very useful. So this one, bear, it's usually with air because it means to catch or to give birth. So bear, air, so bear, air, lehroj, catch the ball. Handy enough when you're out playing in the back garden. Bear there, Lechroich, and away you go. This one here, Aber. To say, Aber. Aber Schinericht. Say that again. Okay, or Aber Oran. Sing a song. It's all, uh, when you ask somebody to sing in Irish, you, you ask them to say it. So, Aber Oran. Sing a song. So, that's great. We're, we're flying through this. This one here, Jan. Do, to do or to make. Jan Dubberwalla, do your homework. Jan Nasahi, do the dishes. Jan Ray and Junior, make the dinner. So you can see that you can use Jan in a lot of ways. So it's a great start for getting into the verbs of the Irish. Okay, and this one here. Again, I have two examples here. Che, which is used in the Kaijin Ifigul, the official standard. And we have this one here, go, which we use more often in Ulster. Go, it means to go. So I'm going to use the Ulster one because I'm a good Ulster man. So go awala, go home. Go awala, go home. Go higgin choppa, go to the shop. So you can see that that one is useful. And the thing about these verbs, have to say, these are the irregular verbs. 
they do their own thing. They don't really follow the rules as, uh, uh, in the way that we would like them because regular verbs are a lot easier to do. But they are the most used verbs. Out of all the verbs, the irregular verbs use them all day, as you can see. Be, tar, e, clush, clin, bear, aber, jan, che, go, fi. This one here, fi, to get. Fi, fi, get do. Get me money. Fi and pan, chin, own tabla. Get me that pen from the table. So you can see that you can... When you're, you're, obviously when you're sitting around and you want to ask somebody to get something for you, you can say, fi and pan shin do. Get that pen for me. Okay? This one here, thick, thick to see. Thick shin, look at that. Thicker in echelon, look at the plane. Handy when you're, you, you, you're having a wee walk with, the, with, with your, your kids and you want to use a little bit of Irish with them and you're going, Fecker and echelon, look at the plane or whatever, the fecker and what do, look at the dog, things like that. The children will probably direct you on the, the, the things on your walk will probably direct you on the order form uh, that you need to use or the verb that you need to use during your, your, your walk. So that's if you're talking to one person. So now I'm going to turn to more than one person. So let's go back to B. Now, with B, if you want to tell, a, say, like a classroom of kids or something like that, to be quiet, be a queuing, be a queuing, be quiet, okay, be a my, be good, okay, that's great. So, tar, taragiawala, you're talking to more than one person. Tarigi Awala. So I'll write that up for you. Tarigi. Tarigi Awala. So if you're talking to a couple of kids, Tarigi Awala and Ish. You've like, been out all night. Or whatever. And if you're talking to more, more the, than one child or one person, Ihigi and Lone. Eat the lunch. Ihigi uh, Nahula. Eat the apples. So you can see that this order form of the verb, it's great, it's great for getting you a good grasp under the verbs. So this one here, we have clish and clean. So if I want to direct people to, to, to hear something, clean again, kill, hear the music, clean again, kill, hear the music. So that's great. So likewise, this one, oh, I have to squeeze in an IGI fada here, Berigi. Bergi er nalehroji. Catch the balls. Bergi er nalehroji. And generally, this one is used with this word here, er. So, this one here, Alper, and I'll move over for this one because this kind of changes. Uh, if you try and say things, abergi, it's really hard to say. So, they've made this into a syncopated, what's called a syncopated ver verb, when it's okay in the singular to say Aberschinericht, say that again. But once you get into the plural, Abrigi, Abrigi. So, and that's your end in there. Abrigi, Abrigi, we're uh, badjraha, say your prayers or whatever people do. Uh, so, that's that one. So, this one here. Janagi, Janagi, Nasehi. That's telling more than one person to do the dishes. Janagi, Nasehi. Do the dishes. Okay. This one here, Gogiawala. Go, telling more than one person to go home. Gogiawala. You are doing my head in. Gogiawala. Or something like that. You know? So, Gogi, we have there. This one. Faggy. Faggy Bruntonish do. Get presents for me. Talking to more than one person. That maybe maybe your kids are going going out somewhere and you're saying, Faggy Bruntonish do. Get presents for me. Just for the crack when you want to say them. Okay. 
So again, maybe you're out for a walk with more than one child. Feck again, feck again, Echelon. Do you see, see, see the, see the, see the airplane? So that's basically how that works. In the singular, so in the singular you're just going B, car, E, Klusher, Klin, Bear, Aber, uh, Jan, Che, or Go, Fai, Feck. That's what you're saying. What happens if you want to tell somebody not to do something? Ha uh ha. -huh. Absolutely. Good question, I think. We are going to use this here. Nah. It even sounds like you're telling somebody not to do something. Nah, be cute. Don't be quiet. Nah, be a More than one person. Don't be quiet. Maybe you want a big crowd of kids to sing a song. Nah, be a Don't be quiet. I guess this one here. Na tarige wala salak. Don't come home dirty. Na tarige wala salak or na tara wala salak. In the singular, na tara wala. Don't come home. In the singular, na tarige wala. Don't. More than one of you has come home. Na he shin. Now when you use it in front of a vowel, na he. Shin, you put a H. Na he shin, you put a H in front of it. Na he shin, don't eat that. Na he hiki shin, don't eat that. To more than one. Na clean shin, don't hear that. Now I don't know what you're going to tell people not to hear, but it's useful to know how to say it. Na clinic shin, in the plural. Na berdigi or shin, don't grab that. Don't catch that. Na habershin, again, you see that's a vowel, and I'm sticking the word na there, and then I put a little h in here, because they don't like two vowels coming together in Irish. When you stick two vowels together in Irish, it's hard to say, and sometimes people look at grammar and they go, oh, that's awful hard, and stuff like that. Generally, grammar is made to make things easier to say. So if you try and say, nah, aber, it, it doesn't feel natural. But if you say, nah, aber, it's a, a lot easier to say. So, similarly here, nah, habrigi shin. Don't be saying that to more than one person, obviously. Nah, habrigi shin. Nah, janagi shin. Or nah, jan shin. Handy one for kids. Nah, jan shin. Don't do that. Or, I don't know. Unruly husbands, maybe you might need to say na jan shin or unruly wives, you never know. So na na go shin, na go shin, don't go in there, na go shin, na go shin, don't go in there, okay? Na fai shin do, don't get that for me, na fai shin do, don't get that for me, na fai gi shin do, don't get that for me when you're talking to more than one. Na fakagi orum, don't look at me. Na fakagi orum, okay? Or na fak orum in the singular. So these are some regular verbs. Now, you, when you, you take these ones, this kind of perform a wee bit better than the, well, for the learner anyway, they perform, perform a little bit better than the irregulars. When you go to study the irregulars, you will see that they, they do things, they change from tense to tense and things like that. I'll explain those in a later lesson. But just wanted to give you some more of these uh, order forms, and these are regular ones. So, brish, to break. Brish in and yog, break the window. Now, I don't know if you're going to be telling anybody to break the window. You never know. Bug, bug and kaiher. Move the chair, bug and tabla, move the table. Thridge, lots of, uh, of us have heard this one. Thridge, close. Thridge and daris, close the door. Thridge and daris. Gyar, gyar and strang, cut the string. Gyar and strang, cut the string. Glan, as a handy one. Glan means clean. Glan and cha. Clean the house. Glan the frog. Clean your shoes. What about this one? 
handy wee one, meanie, meanie, to explain meanie and scale, explain the story, meanie and scale, explain the story. Mook, very handy one also, extinguish, and if you want to turn the lights off, mook and the salt you. The television, mook and jellyfish. There you go. Uskel. So often you're asking somebody to open something. Uskel and Boxer, open the box. Uskel and Bronctonus, open the present. Uskel and Inyog, open the window. Uskel and Daris, open the door. Chuman. To drive. Chuman and car. Drive the car. Chuman. Often you'd be asking somebody to drive. Chuman and car. So that be handy as well. Tog. Tog can mean to lift or to build. So, tog and brusker, lift the rubbish. Tog and copper, lift the cup. Okay, this one here I want to, put, to pay particular attention to because lots of people get mixed up with knee and glan. Glan means to clean, knee means to wash. Knee the lava, clean your hands. Shawl, to send. Shawl, let your hug him. Send me a letter. Shawl, let your hug him. Send me a letter. Oh, nice to be able to drink, isn't it? All cup of tea. There you go. Slug, we've probably heard this from, from, from English. Take a wee slug of that. It means to swallow. Slug and slug and tea. Swallow the tea. This one here, stad or stop. Doesn't matter which one you use, stad or stop. Stad and Colin Shin. Stop that noise. Stop and Colin Shin. Stop that noise. So now we'll look at them in the plural of the order form. Brishiki na funyaga. Break the windows to more than one person. So these are all for in the plural when you're talking to more than one person. Bugagi na pen, move the pens. Drigagi na funyaga, again, close the windows. Gardagi na srangaha, cut the strings. Glanagi and cha, send a more than, send a two kids, three kids, the plural, to clean the house. Glanagi and cha. Minigi and scale. Tell them more than one person to explain the story. Muhagi Nasalcha. Turn off the lights. Oskligi Nafunyiga. Open the windows. Now, worth making a little point about the word Oskal. Often in Ulster, it'll be said Foskal in the singular and Foskligi in the plural. Chumnagi Nabosina. Drive the buses. Togagi and Prakas. Lift the mess. Nagi Warlawa. Wash your hands, dirty beasts. Sholagi na letraha. Send the letters. Olagi na bioraha. Drink the beers. Slugagi and Aishka. Drink the water. With more than one person. Stadagi Shin. Stop that. Stop a shin. Stop that. So the last little bit, there's a rule in Irish called broad with broad, slender with slender, kill a kill, Latin a Latin, Latin, well, Latin a Latin, kill a kill. So the letters that are kill or slender are I and E. Okay? And the ones that are broad are A, O and U. So this word brush you can see that that letter is I. So when you're writing this, you, your next letter has to be a slender letter, so it's I. But we take one like bug. That's, that O there is broad, so this A uh, here has to be broad. So you spell that A-I-G-I fada. And that's really it. So you can go out now and order, people. <laughs>